Welcome to Howie's Kitchen. Today, we're working with my wife's favorite fruit, the avocado, and we're making guacamole. Let's get started. We're gonna start with four to five avocados, depending on the size. Um, these are a little on the smaller side, so I'm doing five. You wanna make sure they're firm, but not, uh, not soft. And you can tell they're ripe when you pull the um, stem out and it's green underneath. You can see that. So we're gonna carefully take a knife and we're just gonna kind of rotate this around the blade. And you wanna, and then you just twist it and it should pop right off the seed, just like that. So let me go ahead and do the other four. So the next thing we wanna do here is we wanna get the seeds out. And you wanna be careful doing this. Um, I just take, a, take my knife and just stab it in there, gently twist, and then take a paper towel and pop it off the blade. And I'm gonna save these and we'll use them a little bit later. We've got all of our seeds removed, so now what we're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna take a spoon, um, like a medium-sized spoon, and you wanna scoop the flesh out of the, uh, out of the outer coating there, or uh, shell, whatever you wanna call it, and then uh, place this into a medium bowl. All right, so let me get these all done. With all the flesh now in a bowl, we're gonna mash this together, and you can use a potato masher, you can use a fork. I'm using what's a pastry cutter, something my wife had and seems to work well for me. So you just wanna mash this together. You wanna leave it a little bit chunky. So this is the consistency I'm looking for. You want it to be somewhat chunky, at least that's the way we prefer it here. So the next thing we're gonna do here, I'm gonna take the three limes and we'll cut these in half. Now we're gonna squeeze the juice over the top here. And what this is gonna do, first of all, it adds a bright, brightness to the, the guacamole. And then um, while we're getting the rest of our ingredients ready, this will help uh, prevent it from browning. All right, now that we've got the lime juice added, um, set the bowl aside, we're gonna get the rest of our ingredients ready in here. We're doing um, a handful of uh, cilantro. We're just gonna rough chop that. And next we're gonna do an onion. Traditional guacamole is usually a white onion. Um, you can also, you can use yellow, you can use red, which I'm doing here. Uh, it's just what I had. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna do a quarter of this. This has a very powerful uh, flavor, so I don't want it to overwhelm. Set that aside. And lastly, we're doing a serrano pepper and you wanna seed and take the veins out of there. Now with this pepper, you wanna finely chop it. So I cut it into real small strips and then I lay them all together and then uh, just come back and we'll just really finely chop this. So with all of our ingredients ready here, um, let's go ahead and get these added in. And we'll just uh, dump them right on top. And to that, I'm gonna add about a half a teaspoon or so of uh, coarse ground sea salt and about the same amount of just a fresh ground cracked black pepper. And we're gonna drizzle just a little bit of olive oil over the top. And then let's just mix this to combine completely. Now what I do is I usually let this set up in the refrigerator for a couple of hours and I will put these seeds back in here and just embed them down in. I don't know if there's any truth to it or not. It's just uh, something I heard. This is supposed to help prevent the uh, guacamole from browning. I'm gonna cover this up with a little bit of plastic. And what you wanna do with the plastic is just place it over and uh, Press it down inside there. That's gonna prevent it from browning. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator. We'll come back here in just about an hour or so and we'll do the wife taste test. This is one of her favorite things, so I'll let her be the judge. Okay, folks, now for the moment of truth, the wife test. <laughs> really good. It's delicious. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> All right, so 
Kitchen tested, wife approved. <laughs>